and put it over here. I don't know how to marry oh, them if every
Try it again. Try it again. I got my. I can hear you now, Andrea. I can. I can hear you also. Okay. Ten nine eight seven six five four three two one. Uh, one two three four. Good afternoon, hockey fans, and welcome to the Metropolis Rink here in Canton, Massachusetts, as we proudly bring you exciting Canton High School boys hockey action. This is Pete DeSisto along with John Marconi, high above rinkside, as we bring you all the exciting action from the Joe Donnelly broadcast booth. And John, today, the Canton Bulldogs take on the Clippers of Newburyport. Should be a great game. Two really good teams, top of their divisions, we expect a, a great game from both teams. Oh, yeah. Canton's going to come out a little hot because uh, they lost the other night to King Phillip. Uh, they got beat up. They got outskated. They got outworked. And uh, Sometimes that's uh, not a bad thing, though. You know, no, a little wake-up call midseason, uh, you know, not always a bad thing. So, you know, and Newburyport's got a lot at stake here. It's been a while since they beat Canton. And last year, they Canton beat them during the regular season. And then they went, had to go all the way down to Gallo for uh, the state tournament game and can't beat them then. So they're coming in hot, I think. <laughs> Might have they a, literally came in hot. Yeah, too. no question. And they could have a chip on their shoulder <laughs> just for that very reason. And they want to come in and, uh, and, and have a good showing. They had a little bit of a glitch getting here. Bus was late. So the game's starting a little bit later than it's supposed to. So Newburyport trying to get their legs under them. But Canton, John, like you said, they, uh, 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 you know, lost the other night to King Philip. But sometimes that's not a bad thing. But, uh, you know, they just didn't didn't have it that night. No, it was a Friday night. It was 830. I think they looked forward to this game. They said, ah, KP. <clears throat> uh, Timmy Ford was telling me, I don't think they lost since he was a freshman. Yeah. So <laughs> um, it's been a while. It might have it. It doesn't matter where you finish. They're going to be in the top four, Division Two, <clears throat> and you're going to get in the tournament. No so. question. So, you know, if, uh, you know, we talk about uh, Canton. They have their first unit, that first line of Torji, Thomas, and Elric. The freshman Elric is just playing unbelievable. Seems to get better every yeah. game as far as I can see. And and they are definitely, the, uh, you know, they're leading, uh, they're leading the charge on offense. Oh, they are definitely. They, they move the puck very well. It seems like they always know where everybody is. Um, the other two, um, the other two lines have been struggling back and forth. There've been some injuries. They move guys around, so they need to pick up the pace the next couple of games here. Connor Gag and the goaltender. I mean, just again playing very, very well, stepping in from last year. Uh, you know, after that championship run. And uh, he's got big shoes to fill, but playing well. He is. I mean, um, the other night he, I mean, even though he gave up four goals, it wasn't his fault. It was lapse in the defense, not back checking. So, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We'll listen to the uh, to the introductions as Newburyport just introduced. Canton will be next. And then we'll have the national anthem, and we'll be right back with the uh, all the exciting action. Starting at forward. Number 22, Travis Thomas. Starting at forward, number 17, Ryan Elric. Starting at defense, number 24, Gavin Thompson. Starting at defense, senior captain, number 28, Matt Anderson. And starting in goal, number 30, Connor Gagan. Please remove your hats for the singing of the national anthem.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Pete DeSisto, John Marconi, about to bring you all the exciting action as the Bulldogs take on the Clippers of Newburyport. And, John, uh, we were talking uh, earlier that, uh, you know, the, uh, Canton uh, or Newburyport hasn't beaten Canton in a while. It's been a while. So, it's, uh, it, you know, it's, it's going to be a tough uh, – I think it's going to be a good game. I, I mean, can't, a new report has uh, some big kids. Look at the goaltender, oh. number one, Damian Lamb. I mean, he's he's a big he's kid. A, they, they, uh, they, not they, that he's going to hit anybody, but I mean, they got some big uh, big kids on this team. And uh, you know, again, they're uh, they're number they're number six in the MIA rankings, five two and one right now. Canton number two in the MIA rankings, seven one and one. So. Uh, I'll tell you, this should be a barn burner here. Always a good game here between these two teams. And just a quick shout-out. Uh, Billy Sievert's not here today. He's had another engagement. But congrats to Dylan Larenko out there to do that announcing. He did a very good job. <laughs> it's awesome. It's good to get different uh, different people in there. So that's awesome. Good for him. So face-off uh, won by Canton. That's going to be thrown behind. Uh, Lamb's going to leave it behind his head. But that's picked up by Torji. Torji and Thomas, that's going to go back to the point, back to Anderson. He takes a shot. That's blocked. Torji has it now. He gets it He gets it back to Thompson. Back into Torji. Torji loses control but gains it back. Torji fooling around with it in the corner. He's going to throw it back to Anderson at the point. He takes a shot. That's blocked in front. In the corner now, Thomas. Thomas back to Anderson. Anderson takes a shot, and that's blocked in front. Thompson takes a shot. Oh, big save by Lamb. Good stop there. Rebound out front. Can't able to pick it up. Torji has it again. He'll dump it down on the corner as uh, as Elric has it. Now Elric helped out by Thomas. Tom uh, Elric has it. Comes out front. Takes a shot. Lamb with the save. Thompson has it. Oh, that the save by Lamb. I'll tell you, good save there as Thomas right out in front. Point blank took the shot. And Lamb made the glove save, and Newburyport just said, forget it, we're going to ice that puck, get it out of the zone, and uh, we'll take a face-off. What a minute and ten seconds there. Canton totally moving the puck back, forth. What a difference from the other night's game. And that line just, they're clicking. Three, four shots there, moving the puck well. So on the face-off, Middleton. Middleton's going to win that one. Picked up by Newburyport, though. They're going to dump it into the Canton zone. And good back-checking by Canton. Back comes uh, Middleton, I believe. He throws it into the into the zone. Uh, Four check there by Blake. Colin Blake trying to gain control. Canton trying to keep it in. They do. But then lost to the Newbury defense. Newburyport's going to throw it up the ice, and Waddle takes it now. He takes a big hit there. Teddy Schumann and with a stand-up hit right at the blue line there. Well, you know, again, John, and you hate to keep hopping on, on the other night against King Phillip, but you knew Coach Schumer would drive it into them. And he, he I think you're going to see a lot of hot-hitting action out of the Bulldogs today. They, they have to. It, teams are going to get the message. Anyone who plays Canton, it's like a Super Bowl to some of these teams because Canton's been beating up on them for years. So, so face off uh, back down into the Canton zone as Canton's going to start out with it in their own end, going to move it up. Gershney has it. He goes rink wide. It's gonna. That's gonna go to Howard. Howard has it, and picked up by Joe Ryan. Ryan comes out of the corner. Ryan throws it back into the corner. Now Howard takes it, but he loses it. Iserman has it now for Newburyport. He throws it out, and Canton trying to move it back in the zone. Iserman again for Newburyport, but he loses it on a good forecheck there by Gershney. Newburyport moves it up. They'll dump it down deep as they'll go for a wholesale change. And Doucette takes it out of his own zone. Doucette with a head of steam comes into center ice, gets it into the Newburyport zone. He does lose it. McIsaac has it. He throws it out front. McIsaac, he gets that up to Palermo. Palermo gains the line. He throws it in and a good save there by Gagan. Nice stop and directed the rebound right to the corner, John. Good stop by Gagan on that one. Yeah, he hasn't had much action, so you kind of got to pay attention for these quick blurps down there. So Another the save. Puck still in the Canton zone. Newburyport doing a good job holding Canton in, but O'Brien's able to get it out. And back behind his own net is Anderson. Anderson tried to hit. I believe that's uh, Torji right off the oh, – no, that's uh, O'Brien. I'm sorry, right off the bench. Tried to hit uh, O'Brien 
on a Hail Mary pass. Just couldn't hang on to it. So that will be icing against Canton. Face off down in the Canton zone. Yeah, the ref was right there to see for that touch to <laughs> make sure of the icing. So Torji on the face off. First unit for Canton out there. And Torji's going to win that one. He gets it, gets it back to Carr. Carr moves it up. And Canton able to move it out of the zone. Get it down deep. Thomas has it behind the net. He one, one hands it around. He's checked there by Divio, but that's intercepted there. Luskin brings it back for Newburyport. He's going to throw it down deep. And back behind the net, Grady Carr now. He's going to leave it for Torgy. Torgy broke it up. Schumann now tries to move it out. Oh, Schumann takes a big hit in the corner, but he ends up with the puck. As Schumann digging for it, does go out in front of the Canton net. Newburyport now has the puck in the Canton zone. They got to move it out front. Knocked away by Schumann there. And back comes Canton as Elric can't control, but that's going to go down into the Newburyport zone as Canton going for the change. As that one's picked up by Morris. Morris has it again. Nice breakout pass. A well, big hit again as Newburyport starting to throw their weight around. Back comes Canton now. That goes in on Lamb, and he makes a save and ties it up as number three for Canton, Brandon Morris. A little extracurricular. A little extracurricular, that. trying to go in after the rebound. Not the row of that, although, although the uh, I don't know, the big goaltender Lamb, I don't know if I would have done that no, or not. And, but. and he's probably one of the littlest <laughs> guys on the team, but he doesn't mean he's not tough. But. No, absolutely, absolutely. And he's a defenseman in front of the net. Get out. <laughs> so face off in the Canton zone. I mean, in the uh, Newburyport zone, that's kept in as Canton is uh, tries to forecheck. Blakey on the sideboards along with Drury. Back comes Newburyport now. They try and move it out, and that's Brennan for Newburyport. He takes it in to, Coo to Croons. That's behind the net. Brennan again. He's up against Morris. Middleton, good back checking, picks up the loose puck. He's going to drop it back to Morris, and Canton's going to start the part, start the uh, the play out, but can't control. And uh, Morris has it now for Canton, and they're going to try and break out of the zone. They finally do, and good play there. As Drury has the puck, he's got Blake out in front, takes the shot that just goes wide. Blake has it now; he'll dump it down deep. Drury on the forecheck. As Newburyport going to try and move it out. And they do as uh, Thompson has it now behind his own net. Good play there by Thompson. He stops, goes the other way. Good breakout pass, and back comes Canton as uh, Joe Ryan just couldn't hang on to that puck, and back comes Newburyport now. Arrow for Newburyport. He's broken up, and they got to dump it down deep as both teams trying to get some fresh legs out there. And Canton trying to move it out of the zone now. Newburyport has it at their own end. Luskin has it. He's going to try and move it up. Goes rink wide, but can't connect there. So Canton trying to move it in, but Luskin again has it. He's going to get over the line. Gets over the blue line. He takes a shot. And a little dribble of just uh, mishandled a little bit by Gagan, but able to get his glove on it and tie that puck yeah, up. Yeah, Newburyport, I think we're a little still on the bus ride that first two shifts because they've kind of controlled the pace here. You know, they picked it up a little, Canton. Got to stop with the cross-ice pass. They got to look for that open guy in the center. You can't go three wide. Flag on the face-off. Newburyport's going to win that one. Now Canton's going to try and break it out. They do. And that's McCready with the puck now. Good hustle by McCready to beat the Newburyport defense to the puck. They're able to break it out, though. Childs has it. He dumps it in. Picked up there by Forrest. For Newburyport, but broken up there at the blue line by Canton. So both teams trying to get a little something going here. Not a lot of sustained pressure for either team at this point. Couple, in, couple shots on net, not many, but not many, uh, not many real good opportunities. But that's intercepted there, and puck hit the side of the net. That was McCready intercepted that pass, that breakout, and back comes Newburyport. Good heads-up play there by Gagan. He saw his defenseman right Struggling. on uh, Newburyport uh, forward, right on top of him, 
And uh, good heads up play to come out of the net and tie that up. Yeah, that's a that could backfire, but you got to get that puck covered up quickly so they can't poke it out of there. Because then he's out of the net. So on the faceoff is first unit for Canton out there. Newburyport's going to win that one as that's deflected into the netting. So faceoff will be to the right of Gagan. Yeah, halfway through here. It seems the pace is leveled off. They're all looking for shots on net here. Not much developed either way. Torchy on the faceoff. That's going to go right through the crease as that's picked up by Newburyport. They're going to move it around. They give it to Luskin. Luskin throws it in. And Canton trying to break it out now. There's Tom Thomas. Travis Thomas. Good hustle there. Just couldn't get it down deep, though. As back comes Newburyport now. And Newburyport again. Eiserman will throw it up. That's going to go to Doucette. Doucette has it in his own zone. Tries to hit uh, Thomas. And they're going to call offside as <coughs> Newburyport threw it back in but had a player over the line. So 7-17 left in this first period, 0-0 score. You're right, John. Canton came out that minute, that first minute and a half. They played great. You know, had had a, a total, uh, it was all territorial, but, you know, for Canton, ter territorial advantage for Canton. And uh, since then, it's, it has leveled off. Both teams having their uh, opportunities. Yeah, it seems like they're all com in the middle of the ice, but that's all right, you know. So Middleton tripped up there. That's going to that's gonna go into Drury. Drury takes a shot, and that's blocked in front by the Newburyport defense. Canton trying to keep it in, and Newburyport able to get it out. Palermo has it. He stopped. He's checked there. Checked by Drury on the sideboards, along with Thompson. That's going to go around the net to Anderson. Anderson throws it out, tries to hit Drury, can't control both teams trying to get control of that puck. Anderson now goes behind his net. Matt Anderson, he'll throw it up. Gets it up to Drury. Drury stops, give it, throws it right in the middle. And Canton finally able to get it down deep. Middleton on the forecheck along with Blake. And so shot on net there. Oh, good play there by Elric. Elric came off the bench, was on that wing with the second line. And, and there's another big save by Lamb on a shot from Canton at the point as Torgy now takes it in. As Colin Blake still on the ice, he'll take the shot, and there's a, shot, a save by Lamb. I'll tell you, John, uh, Elric surprised us all. He came right in off the bench, intercepted the pass, took the shot on Lamb. I thought that was going to go. And then he, he tipped the other shot. He was still on the ice when they were changing. He was the only one of his line out there. So faceoff in the Newburyport zone, Torgy. So Coach Schulman going with this first uh, he's first line, uh, double shift in this first line, trying to get a little something out of this, uh, trying to get something to to uh, inspire the team, I guess. Yeah, they need it. I mean, they're skating pretty well, this first line. It seems like when he's rolling forward, they clog down a little. You know, let Torgy have some ice because he's skating well. So Torgy in, a in, he tries to cut into the net. That's blocked. He was a little bit too deep. Thomas has it, gets it back to Schulman. Bounces off a of Schulman stick and out into center ice. Grady Carr gets it back to Schulman. Teddy Schulman with a good play. He gets over the line. Schulman, he gives it to Thomas, who takes a shot and a save by Lamb again. So good play there. Schulman with a good, good move at the blue line. Gave it over to Thomas, and Thomas took the shot, but uh, Lamb made the stop. Yeah, it seems like Thomas was on his off wings. Gave the goalie some time to set up there, but... You know. So on the faceoff, Middleton. Middleton wins that one. That's going to – Gershany has it. Now he throws it towards the net. Howard on the forecheck. Going to go back to the point. Doucette can't hold on to it. Morris throws it in. That's blocked. So puck going to go down into the Canton zone. Morris again with the puck. He'll start out with it. Tries to hit Howard. This will not be icing, as they say Newburyport touched the puck. So Howard on the forecheck now. Along with uh, Joe Ryan. Ryan now trying to get that loose puck that's going to go around the boards. As uh, Brennan for Newburyport throws it out. But Canton able to get it again. So back comes Canton again. 
as overskated there. Arrow has it for Newburyport. They'll get through the line. Arrow again right out in front. Throws it to the net. That's going to go wide. So Canton starting it out behind their own net. Kept in again by Newburyport. Canton not able to break the puck out as Morris has it behind his own net. He's going to throw it across. And Canton finally able to get it out. Head back. Oh, good shot there by O'Brien. Colin O'Brien came off the bench, able to pick up that loose puck and went in. And Lamb made the save. So face off. I'm sorry. The, the play continues in the Newburyport zone. It's going to go out to center ice. Canton able to gain control. Anderson has it. Throws it up. Clegg can't get control. And Newburyport is going to dump it down. They can say no icing. Oh, he called it. <clears throat> he did call. I thought the uh, the second ref blew, uh, waved it off, but that will be icing on Newburyport as they were over the red line. So 3.33 left in this first period, 0-0 zero, zero to score. i got to give the edge to Canton right now, John. Uh, oh, they've picked it up again. It seems like since they double-shifted the Torgy line there, they've kind of got back into some flow here. So face-off, Brian Middleton on the face-off, and he's going to win that one. Drury will throw it back to the point. Gets it over to Carr. And that's shot on net by Schumann. But just goes wide. Schumann picks it up in his own zone. He's going to throw it around to Middleton. Goes up the boards. As Middleton picks it up, the loose puck. He tries to go through three defensemen there. Almost made it through, but just got <coughs> broken up at the end. And back comes Forrest. He'll throw it up into the uh, uh, center ice zone. As Canton trying to work it in, they do. Newburyport with control. Schumann stops it at center ice. Schumann, nice little pass to Drury. Drury throws it in. Oh, and a big save there. He's tried to hit Colin Blake. And the puck got tipped in front. But the goalie wasn't able to ready. make that stop. Yeah, that was a tough play. Because if, if it went across, he might have had an open shot at it. So Newburyport trying to get out of the zone. That's kept in there by Grady Carr. And we're going to have a penalty, I believe. Who's that? On Newburyport, I think it is. It's got to be. That's yeah, who had the Yeah, number two, Devio. Ooh, I didn't see that coming, but <clears throat> he did. So Ken with a huge opportunity. 2.20 left. So they'll be on a two-minute power play here. 2.20 left in the first period on the faceoff here. Thomas is going to take it. Torgy ends up with it. He gets it back to Anderson, takes a shot. That's going to go over the net. Canton with the puck now. Schumann has it on the sideboards. He throws it out in front. Oh, the big shot there by Elric. Just goes wide. Canton gains control. Torgy has it now on the sideboards. Brendan Torgy's going to throw it into the middle. Over to Schumann. Schumann steps in. He takes a shot. And that's blocked in front. And that's going to go out the center ice. So Canton will start over again. Anderson over to Schumann. Back to Anderson. Anderson starts out with it. Anderson with the puck just over the line. Schumann walks in. He gets the puck. Top of the circle. Throws it into Thomas. Thomas tries to stuff it in. As he had, uh, I think he, he had Elric. He had Elric right shot. out in front. I thought he was going to hand it to him. Tried to, I think he tried to fake out the goalie lamb and tried to actually stuff it in, but yeah. uh, just couldn't get it. So Canton starts back with it. As they're going to dump it in the zone, puck goes right out in front. As uh, Anderson tries to step up. But McIsaac has it. He goes down. He takes a shot. Oh, and that's a save by Goggin. Goggin came out, cut down the angle. McIsaac took that shot from the top of the circle. Well, he was so out of gas. Good play there by, uh, I believe it was Anderson, the defenseman, kept him out to the outside. So pretty uh, pretty standard stop there for, yeah, uh, for, for Gagan. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, Canton's been moving the puck well. I noticed this the other night against KP. They have a guy in front, but he's not on the defenseman. You know, they're kind of trying to get open. You almost have to get, like, play the defenseman so the shot, the goalie can't see it. It seems like that was a problem the other night. It might be becoming a problem. So face off in the Canton zone. Minute left in the period. As Canton will start out with it, they have 40 seconds left on this power play. Plenty of time here. Grady Carr has it. He'll dump it down deep. He gets his own rebound. Oh, he throws it out front. 
Oh, he tried to hit Drury out in front. Good play there by Carr. It's going to go back into the Canton zone. Canton will start out with it with 26 seconds left in the in the power play. Canton has it now behind the net. Thompson has it. He throws it towards the net. That's going to be blocked. Goes back to the point. Carr has it. Back to Thompson. Nice pass in front. Oh, he hit Drury. Drury just got stopped by number 17, Forrest. And Forrest throws it the length of the ice, and that will just about do it on the power play. 20 seconds left in the in the period here. As Canton starts back, they'll see if they can get another shot on net. As Newburyport now has control in their own zone, they're going to throw it up, and that will end it up uh, getting caught in one of the jerseys. I believe it was Colin Blake got caught in his jersey. So five seconds left. That'll just about do it in this period as, pe as the faceoff will be outside the Newburyport zone. Yeah, that's going to do it. Power play was okay. Didn't generate a lot of shots on net, a lot of in-time zone, but they got to move the puck and get that shot. Big goalie. You got to get him moving. No question. He takes up a lot of space. So he, he, you're right, John. You got to get him moving to open up those, uh, open up uh, the corners and and, uh, and and be able to have a shot. So face off one by Canton, but that's going to go all the way back to Gagan, and that will do it in this first period. Newburyport versus Canton, zero zero. Kind of what we expected, John, early on. I'll tell you. They, uh, you know, both teams, Canton started out like gangbusters, had the first two minutes in the in Newburyport zone. But after that, kind of up and down, good good play by both teams. Definitely Canton has the edge in play, no question. But Gagan had to make some good stops. No, he, I mean, Newburyport came to play. Like I said, they got an hour bus ride. They were all messed up. Can't come out flying. They could have easily folded, but Newburyport stuck it to them. And they're making Canton work, come out of the zone. They're forechecking very well. And uh, they're... Covering the points. Canton's very good at the points, but not tonight. Uh, New reports on them. They're making them make a decision. Shoot, move. So Canton, Canton uh, able to uh, to get a bunch of good shots on Lamb, but he played very, very well that period. And uh, so credit to him. Big, big goal. He takes up a lot of space. So I'm sure Coach Schum will have some uh, good words for the boys in the locker room. So stay tuned, hockey fans. We'll be right back with second period action. In case you guys missed it, Lola Bonwell covered a story on the School Days Inspiration Edition here at Kent High School where she told the story of a young girl who got sick. Liam Conley also did a story on Tara Schumann who was diagnosed with cancer in around 2012 and her battle with it. Here they are. This is Annabelle. She is a little girl who suffers from a very rare one in a million disease that is very hard on the heart and ever since being diagnosed it has had an impact on her everyday life. Hi, I'm Jamie, Annabelle's mom. Ask Jamie to explain to us what pulmonary hypertension it is. It is the constriction of the pulmonary arteries and all the supporting blood vessels um, so they go into the heart um, and when those arteries get constricted it actually enlarges the right side of the heart and it's not something that you want it actually weakens the heart um, and makes things very difficult for the patient. Ask Jamie what Annabelle's pump was there for and if she could explain how it works. Yep so her medication that goes in there is called remodulin it's a form of tropostanol so that relaxes the blood vessels and gets her pressures in her heart down. Um, so the reason she is on a pump is because that's the best way for pediatric patients to get that medication. And so the pump is set up at a certain rate and a certain dosage. My husband actually mixes all the medication, hooks it up to the pump in a cassette, and then that sit that goes into a line that sits right above her heart and the medicine drips in right above her heart at a continuous rate. So it's 24-7 being pumped, and um, again, it's been the best medication option for her. We asked Annabelle what she liked about her backpack. Um, it's funky. It's funky? Yeah. Does it help you? Yeah. So you like it? Yeah. Annabelle's mom, if there was ever a time she lost hope in Annabelle's recovery. 
when she was in the hospital, she was very sick. It was very, very scary because her disease is so rare and a lot of um, children, unfortunately, don't survive. Um, and some have to get a little single or double lung transplant. So it was definitely pretty scary. Um, and then, you know, once we did get out of the hospital, we didn't know if, if, if she was gonna progress or if it was gonna stay the same. And lucky for us, her medicine has done wonders for her and she's actually doing better than she was prior to diagnosis. Stand about what her reaction would be to somebody at school making fun of her backpack. Tell her teacher. That's a smart idea. Annabelle about any happy memories from the hospital? Uh, I had a friend. You made friends? How is Annabelle now? She's in third grade and she's doing great. Up next, we have a story about a mom who overcame breast cancer. Her kids were really young at the time. A four-year-old son and a one-year-old daughter. It was shocking. It was like, this can't really be real. And yes. I was diagnosed in August um, of 2012. Do you remember it like it was yesterday? Um. I do remember bits of it like it were yesterday, um, and also it feels like a lifetime ago at the yeah. same time. The doctor told you you got cancer. What were you like feeling like? Mm, it was shocking. It was like, this can't really be real. And I would just, yeah, I would describe it as like a full, full feeling of like the earth falling out from underneath you. Yeah. How did you like tell Annabelle and Teddy because they were your kids so young telling them that you had to go over this big bump in your life? Yeah. Um, well, they were four and one. Oh, uh, my mom got cancer and then she had the zoo. Uh, Frankfurt Park Zoo. And so I think at four, um, we did describe that there was something that I had to get taken out. My sister was really young and I had to be there for her and make sure she was okay. And we used the word cancer at, at uh, I knew what was going on and it's a tough, uh, tough, tough experience, but I knew she was gonna be okay in the long run. Do you feel normal when you had cancer? Like, or did it just like bring like this like unnormal to you? Oh, I think at the time it really felt like a living nightmare. Like that's the best way I can describe it. And when things have surfaced that, you know, you're getting tested, is it back? Is it, you know, is that just a regular mass that people have in their bodies or is this a, you know, the metastases, it doesn't feel normal. I think it feels like, again, like your world is just turned upside down and you can barely breathe. That was how I would describe it. Um, but I think now I can, you know, I, yeah, on a daily basis, I'm not, you know, unless, again, unless something's popped up and I'm worried about it, um, I feel really just blessed to have that calm that, um, that I wish everyone could have, and I and I just can't imagine someone who has metastatic disease of constantly battling it. I think they really lose that peace and that calm, and that's what's so devastating to know is that they just don't have that. And I wish they could. Yeah. So your big word is hope. What like made you like choose hope out of everything? Like, why did you want hope to be like your big thing? Like, you wrote a book about hope is a, is a good breakfast. Like. What made you think that, like you wanted to do that? Yeah. I didn't even choose it. It's, it it just know, came? It, yeah, because I think if anyone has been in a situation where, well, I can't speak for everybody. I, I know I have definitely heard many stories and I've experienced myself where you feel like there's no way 
I can get through this. I mean, there's no way this will ever get better. That I, if I feel this fear and this pain forever, how will I ever deal? And there's just this feeling that pops up and a little thought that says like, maybe you will be able to deal. Like maybe this won't be as bad as you think, or maybe this good thing can happen, or you know, maybe this miracle can happen. And I think that those, like that to me is what hope is. It's that idea that it's not over, that, that things that you think are over aren't over. Um, or even, you know, I think in the recent, like my recent years, I've really like not to get too deep on you, but I think like my hope has developed past like the hope of surviving necessarily to the hope that even if I didn't survive, that the people I love would be okay. And so that even the hope itself has evolved, you know, it used to just be the hope that I would survive. And, um, and now it's something different, which I think is even deeper and in a way even more beautiful. Wow, how inspiring. Welcome back, hockey fans, here at the Metropolis Rink. Pete DeSisto along with John Marconi as the Bulldogs of Canton take on the Clippers of Newburyport High School in this uh, matinee Martin Luther King Day matchup. We are live here at the Metropolis Rink. 0-0 the score. Great first period up and down action by both teams. Canton definitely had the edge, John, but uh, you, know, you, you can, never, uh, can never count Newburyport out. Yeah, you can't. That was a good game back and forth. Uh, Canton had the edge. I'll agree with you there, but puck didn't go in the net, so call it an even score. So face off at center ice. Canton had that power play early on. I mean, late in that first period, and uh, and Canton uh, not able to uh, uh, capitalize on that, but uh, uh, had a good opportunity there late in that period. So Newburyport's going to come back. They drain the line. They take the shot. That's going to go over the net as Torgy will pick it up. Brendan Torgy has it now. He'll start it out of his own zone. He gets into center ice. Brendan Torgy will dump it down into the Newburyport zone. Torgy again with the four check. Thomas has it. He's going to get it back to uh, Anderson. An take, uh, Anderson takes a shot. Elric out in front couldn't control it. Torgy trying to gain control now. He does. He's going to throw it back to Anderson. Anderson takes a shot, and that's blocked in front again. Elric takes a shot, and that's blocked in front. Tom Thomas, uh, I'm Thompson. I sorry, come, <laughs> came from the point. He took a shot. That's blocked in front. So Canton with some shots, just not getting through. John uh, Newburyport defense doing a good job uh, clogging up that middle of the ice. Yeah, they. You always see it. Move, slide, left, right. Try and avoid the defenseman in front of you when you're shooting, but they don't think that way. They just want to get that shot off. So At least they're not winding up for the slap shot. No, exactly. So face-off in the in the uh, Newburyport zone. Middleton on the face-off. Middleton out there with Drury and Colin Blake. Middleton's going to win that one. Carr throws it towards the net. That's blocked by Lamb. Newburyport trying to break it out of their, their own zone. Carr throws it back in. Canton does have to clear as Newburyport will throw it down deep now. Schumann has it. He's going to nice touch pass over to uh, off the boards to Carr. Carr hit 
there. Puck does go out of the zone. This is going to be icing on Newburyport as that puck got just over the red line at center ice. And he's able to, uh, and they're able to ice that puck. So faceoff will be down in the uh, Newburyport zone. Yeah, that wasn't a smart play. The Newburyport guy had some time to skate it up. He just kind of threw it in there, but cost him an icing call. Big faceoff down there now. Barely a half a step to the red line, too. That's the other thing. So Nobody realized that. Just even the pros. You go one more step. So at the fit. Oh, oh, that's but <laughs> tough for me to say. Will Doucette jumped right over his stick and tried to gain control of the puck, but got his stick in the way, tripped the Newburyport player. So now Newburyport will go on the power play. 13-21 left. In this second period, zero, zero to score. So a big, big opportunity here for Newburyport with a two-minute penalty. That might have been a good penalty to take because he was coming in all alone there. He tried to tap his stick, but didn't work. So Middleton on the faceoff. He's out there with Torji, Thompson, and Anderson. So Middleton on the faceoff. As the referee's trying to get people squared up here. Newburyport going to win that one. Oh, good play by Anderson. He tips it ahead. Anderson's going to go in alone. He takes a shot. Oh, the big save by Lamb. Oh, great play by Anderson right off the faceoff. As Newburyport kind of lackadaisical there. Couldn't, uh, couldn't get control of that puck, but Matt Anderson, good play there. That puck's going to go in on Gagan, but that's uh, picked up by Anderson. That's going to be thrown into the netting. A little, uh, little tenuous there for Gagan. Yeah, little, he misplayed it. It looks yeah. like he tried to he tried uh, to use his blocker to push it away and, and just went out in front of the net. But uh, good play there by Anderson to get it out of there. I'll tell you, John. Anderson Matt, made a nice play to bang it off the boards. Matt Anderson, good play there to get it down into the uh, Newburyport zone. All, uh, went in all alone, took the shot, and uh, Lamb with the save. So Newburyport has control in the Canton zone. Thrown towards the net. That's going to go wide. Torji gets it. And bats it out. So Canton on the man down situation here. Thomas on the forecheck. Now Torji. Torji intercepts. Can't control it, but uh, intercepted that pass. Now an Uber report outside the, uh, the Canton zone. They're going to try and get something going here. One minute left in the power play. Good hit in the corner there by Thompson. Puck goes back to Newburyport defense. Anderson tries to move it out. Now Torji does, and he'll dump it the length of the ice. As Canton getting some fresh legs out there with 45 seconds left on this power play for Newburyport. Newburyport's going to start out with it now. As they come over the red line, they gain the line, and that's going to be offside. As that was number 27, Luskin made one little extra move there. Can't do and that. And put Devio offside. <clears throat> That's so tough to do when you when you're coming in the zone. You got to come in. You can't delay because everybody else is watching you. You can tell it a million times. So face off outside the zone. Middleton has it, and Newburyport going to win that one. Thirty seconds left in the power play. Stop behind the net by Gagan. It's going to go around the net. No, Arrow has it. He takes a shot. That just goes wide. As that was through a screen, I'm not sure Gagan would have seen that one. Good play there by by uh, Blakey, throws it up, and he's going to throw it the length of the ice. And Middleton, first one in, takes a shot. That's just going to go wide. Blake has it now. He gets it back to center ice. Three seconds, two seconds, that's it on the power play for Newburyport. Good penalty kill there for Canton. Uh, Blake tried to move it right in. Schumann has it now. He takes a shot right up in front. Oh, the big save by Lamb, another save by Lamb. Right back to the point now. Oh, car diving. Couldn't keep the puck in the zone. Schumann has it now. Drury will throw it up and in. As Canton trying to get uh, some fresh legs on as Blake gets tied up there. No call on Newburyport. That's going to go out to center ice. Blake has it. That's going to go back to Grady Carr. Carr gets it back to Schumann. Schumann starts out with it. Gets over the line. Schumann makes a nice move. Goes in alone. He takes a shot. Oh, just goes wide. Schumann with a beautiful play to go around the defense. Middleton now throws it in. That's going to go wide. As Canton with some good opportunity here. After that power play for Newburyport, Canton able to get some offense going. And that's going to be icing as Schumann tried to hit McCready. 
but that will be icing on Canton. Teddy's done that a lot this year. He's taken the puck in, jumped in the play. That time he made a nice move to get in there. Sometimes it gets broken up, but and he and he gets people covering for him. So faceoff in the Canton zone. On the faceoff, Brendan Clegg. He's out there with O'Brien and McCready. And Anderson's going to win that one. Anderson uh, picks up that loose puck. And a big save there by Gagan as that went back to the point. As Childs took that shot from the point, and Gagan grabbed it with his glove and able to uh, make the stop. So faceoff will be to the left of Connor Gagan. And on the faceoff, Clegg again. Now, go up. Check that. Coach Schumann going to make a change here. Schumann's going to put Joe Ryan out there at center. He's out there with Howard. And uh, so Ryan picks up the loose puck. Joe Ryan takes it. Now he gets, he's gets. he got Howard with him. Ryan takes it wide, takes it around the net. Ryan still has it. He gets it back to Thompson. Thompson gets it over to Anderson. Anderson comes along the line. He's going to try and get it in down deep he does Ryan helping him out Howard there along with Gershney Puck's going to go back into the Canton zone oh nice move there oh and a big shot and just goes wide as Devio took the shot made a nice move to go around Anderson I believe and uh Good play there by number two, Devio. He made a nice shot, but just went wide as Gagan came out and cut down the angle. Yeah, Thompson misread that one. He went right around him, but nice play by Gagan. So puck right in front, shot towards the net. That was tipped by Howard, blocked by Lamb. Good play there by Thompson to keep it in. Newburyport able to get it out of their own zone. Devio has it, tries to make a move around. Anderson, oh, good tip check there. Johnny Busick with the crowd right there, baby. You don't see many of those. A nice little <laughs> hip check and, and to go down. Great hip check by Anderson. As that was textbook Busick there, John. I'll tell you. As, uh, you know, good play there by the defenseman Anderson. I'll tell you, John, def senior defenseman, uh, he's a captain. I mean, very, uh, uh, very unassuming on the ice. I'll tell you, he makes some good plays. Not flashy, nope. but he's always in the right place. He seems to make the plays. Nothing's flashy. He's always there at the right time, and that, that might be why he's a captain. He's right there all the time. So Schumann has it. That goes over to Carr. Carr takes a shot, <clears throat> hits somebody in front as that goes wide. A uh, big hit in the corner there by Thomas. This is first unit for Canton back out there. Torgy, now Elric on the on the forecheck. Torgy on the sideboards. Gives a little shove there, but the puck goes to Newburyport, and they're going to dump it down deep. Going to go all the way around the net. Palermo has it for Newburyport. He's checked by Schumann. Palermo gets the loose puck. He has it behind the net. He tries to throw it out front. Deflects off Schumann, and a good stop there by Gig, and good way... Uh, Good heads-up play to tie that puck up, John, as that uh, very dangerous right on the side of the net there. That's always – I think anytime you can get a face-off, take one because he just resets the play. Anything can happen if that puck squirts out. Someone's not paying attention. They think the goalie has it. So face-offs in the Canton zone as Coach Schumann gets new line out there. Clegg is out there with O'Brien and Gershney. And Clegg has it. Clegg's going to get it back to Morris. Morris over to Doucette, who gets it up. Oh, and there's a shot from the point. I'm not sure Gagan saw it, but had his body in the right place. Made the save. That's blocked by Clegg. Clegg dumps it up into the zone. And this is going to be icing on Canton as Clegg, just on this side of the red line, made a nice poke check there to get it down. Just a little too hard. Uh, went it's by the right play. You just can't hit it that hard because he tried to go around him. You know, if he maybe didn't hit too hard, he might have caught, caught up with it. But so good play still. Face off in the Canton zone to the right of uh, Connor Gagan. On the face off, Middleton is out there. He's out there with Blake and Drury. Middleton wins that one. It's going to go to Anderson. And that's going to go to Drury. Drury tries to move it up the boards. He can't. That's stopped there. Anderson with the puck now in his own zone. He's going to throw it around. Gets it to Thompson. Thompson moves it up. Gets it to Drury. Drury starts out with it. 
Tries to go rink wide over to Anderson, a little behind him, so he throws it in. Blake has it. He throws it out in front, gets it to Drury. Drury throws it towards the net. Back to Blake. He takes a shot. Oh, another save by Lamb. Oh, big stop there as Canton with two good opportunities right in front. Blake right out in front took the shot, and Lamb made the stop. Canton not able to keep it in there. Back comes Anderson. He throws it in as he's checked. Middleton now on the forecheck. And that's going to go into the netting. Oh, best, I'll tell you, John, best uh, opportunity of the of the uh, period so far on that. That was Colin Blake and Brian Middleton and Drury. And I think I think it was Blake that had the first shot and Drury maybe the second. But I'll tell you, good stop there by Lamb. <laughs> and it helps to be a big goalie because he just <laughs> held his ground and stood tall. And you got you to gotta keep him moving. He hasn't had to move that much. So face-off in the in the um, Newburyport zone. First unit for Canton out there. Torji on the face-off. He's going to win that one. Goes back to Schumann. Over to Carr. Carr takes a shot. That's tipped. Oh, it was tipped in front by, by uh, I'm sure, well, I guess it was Torji. I thought it might have been Thomas, but it was Torji. Got his stick out there. <laughs> tipped that shot from Carr at the point. Went into the netting. So uh, didn't quite get the shot on net. So Torji on the face-off now. In the Newbury Port zone, he's going to win that one. It's going to go over to Doucette. He'll throw it down deep. Morris steps up now. He throws it towards the net, saved by Lamb. Newbury Port trying to break it out of their own zone. And behind their own net, Newbury Port finally does. Uh, no, no. Uh, stopped there by Thomas. Thomas on the forecheck. Good forechecking by this unit for Cannon. Able to get that loose puck. That's going to go back to the point. Now it goes over to Thomas, over to Elric. Elric has it now. He's going to circle the net. That's going to go back to, to the point to Doucette. He takes it in. Oh, and a big hit there behind the net now. Elric has it along with Thomas. Elric trying to get the loose puck. Torji comes in. Torji takes the loose puck now. Torji circling in the corner. Trying to, he loses it to the Newburyport defense, but Torji takes it right back. He's got Elric out in front. Tried to hit Elric. Uh, not able to get that puck out, but now Newburyport back. Newburyport comes back through the all over the line. They take the shot. Good save by Gagan. As Morris tried to dump it out, Newburyport able to keep it in, and Gagan again with the good stop on that shot from the point. He was able to see that all the way, John, but I'll tell you, you know, Gagan, he's got to be ready for these shots all the time. Yeah, that puck bounced around out there. They couldn't get it out of the zone. They tried to clear it, and all of a sudden there's a shot back on him. But, again, he saw it makes a big deal. But that play down the other end, they kept the puck in the zone. They just they can't get it by him. So Joe Ryan on the faceoff, just a sophomore Ryan, grandson of Bill Sweeney. Legendary the, Legendary teacher. math teacher. <laughs> I, of course, never had him, John, because I was never that uh, that good at math. But uh, he, uh, Bill Sweeney uh, retired from Canton High. At every game. Yeah, that's right. Here, every single game. Great guy, too. And, uh, you know, Joe Ryan making him proud, playing very, very well, the young sophomore. Another, another legendary grandparent that I don't know if you know, Gavin Thompson, Dr. Bill Lankitis, who's no longer with us, but that that's his grandson. That's his grandson, so. So face uh, play continues in the Canton zone. Newburyport able to come out with it. Checked there by Ryan as uh, Canton able to get it out now. Thompson has it. He takes a shot. That's going to go wide. In the corner now, Howard has it. Tries to gain control. Newburyport going to take it out. Gets over red line. Dumps it into the Canton zone. As Thompson behind his own net. Slides it over to Anderson. Anderson will start out with it. Gets it up to Middleton. Middleton's checked. And that will be offside as that was intercepted by number 22, Joyce, for uh, Newburyport. Had a good break, but uh, play was one of his line mates was just about five feet inside the zone. Couldn't yep. get out. So that will be offside on Newburyport. Middleton on the faceoff. Drury and, uh, and Blake out there with him. Schumann and Grady Carr. Carr has it now. Throws it up to Middleton. Now Blake has it. Blake gets it back to Carr. Gets it back up to Blake. 
He throws a cross ice. Good pass over to Schulman. Schulman's going to gain the line. Takes a shot. That's going to be tipped wide. Blake with the rebound off the boards. He takes a shot. That's going to go wide. Middleton back to Schulman. Schulman takes a shot. High and wide over the net. Another shot. Canton with some sustained pressure here as Middleton taking the shot just a little bit wide. Now Blake on the sideboards. He's going to dump it back to Carr. Gets it over to Schulman. Schulman takes a shot. That's going to be blocked in front. So Canton still with the puck. Drury now trying to gain control. He does. Drury has it. He's going to get it back to Grady Carr. Carr steps up, throws it in. That's blocked there as Drury gives it to Schumann. Back to Drury. Drury throws it rink wide. Oh, just couldn't connect as Newburyport able to intercept that pass. And uh, again, John, they're just happy to get that puck out of the zone and ice the puck. After that uh, sequence, yeah, definitely. Can't move in the puck around, getting the shots, but not on net. I, I tell you, that's, that's what they need to do, though. They're, they're moving that puck around the zone, yeah. getting Lamb to move, open up some space in that net. And it's working. I mean, they just got to get the puck on net on now. On net now, yeah. They have moved the puck much better for openings. So first unit for Canton out there. Three minutes left in this second period. 0-0 the score. Puck goes out into center ice as Newburyport takes it. We're going to have a penalty. He's going to call a hold. I think it's on Canton. I think it's on Canton. I'm not sure why they blew well, the whistle. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I think Doucette had him by... Somehow the elbow. So we have a hold, but I think it's on. Oh, uh, wow. It's on Newburyport. That was a tough one. That's number six, McIsaac. Ah, that could have gone. Easy. I don't know. They I were didn't both see that one. I got to be honest with you, John. <laughs> you know, as much as we love Canton, and yeah. as much as we, you know, we try, we, you know, I, I didn't see that one at all. I, I, uh, I thought it was going to be a Canton penalty. I thought at that so. Point, he, but, he was coming in the zone, and you said had him by the arm. Yeah, nonetheless, Canton a huge opportunity. Two minute penalty uh, power play here, and on the faceoff, Thomas has it, gets it over to towards you, gets it back to the point, Anderson. Back to Torji. Torji has it. Tries to circle in front. Kind of blocked in front there. That's going to go back to Anderson at the point. Anderson has it. Throws it into Torji, who steps to the top of the circle. That's blocked. Schumann tries to one, uh, tries to grab it with his glove. Couldn't get it as that was flipped up in the air. Puck goes all the way back down on to Connor Gag, and he's going to stop it, and he leaves it for Anderson. Anderson's going to start out with it. Anderson gets it up to Torji. A little bit behind him. He had to stop. So through center ice. Oh, and Torji, it's going to be another penalty on Newburyport as this will make it a two-man advantage for Canton. Schulman has it now as they wait for Gagan to get to the bench. They get the extra skater on. Yeah, you got to take the whistle here. I so think. Anderson takes the shot, and that's going to go wide. And Newburyport player has lost his stick too. So puck right in front. Canton still got control. Drury has it now. Drury's going to drop it behind the net to Middleton. Middleton has it. Middleton going to swing it in front. Tries to throw it out front, but Newburyport able to intercept that pass. So Ken going to have a two-minute advantage for 52 seconds with two minutes left in this second period. Yeah, I don't know what you do on that. I see sometimes the NHL guys just want the whistle to go five on three, but, I mean, Ken had the, almost a minute. They almost had to play a minute with the goalie pulled. Same thing, two-man advantage. So Middleton on the faceoff. Middleton out there with uh, Blake and Drury with Grady Carr and uh, Gavin Thompson on defense. So we'll see if Canton can capitalize on this two-man advantage. So Canton's going to win that one. That's going to go back to Thompson over to Carr. Carr back over to Thompson. Thompson goes rink wide. Oh, tried to hit Middleton in front. Couldn't control. Carr has it now. Carr stops, gives it to Drury. Drury walks in. He takes a shot. And that's tipped in front, and that's going to go into the netting. 34 seconds left on this two-man advantage, and there's Coach Schumann putting his first unit out there. We knew that was going to happen. Oh, as soon as you got the whistle, you switch it up here. Absolutely. They're moving the puck well, especially with short two men on the ice. So, so Thomas will take that face off. He's out there with Torji and Elric. That's going to go back to Torji at the point. Torji has it. He's going to walk in. Gets it over to Schulman. Schulman takes a shot. Big save by Lamb. Good blocker save there. As Canton not able to control the rebound. That's going to go all the way down on Gag. And 20 seconds left on the two-man advantage. 
as behind the net. Anderson, now Anderson will start out with it. Anderson gets it up to towards you, takes a hit. Elric goes in. Now he takes, uh, Elric took the shot. Oh, it's kept in by Anderson. Anderson keeps it in as Newburyport. Big mistake there. Just couldn't get it out of the zone. That's going to go over to Schumann. He takes the shot. That just goes wide as Newburyport gets one player back. And they're going to dump it down. We have a partial breakaway. Couldn't control as that's number six, Mc, six, McIsaac, out of the zone. He takes the shot and scores! As number 10, Colby Owl comes in, breaks up the, the Canton defense, and McIsaac, right out of the box, came in, had a wide open net as Gagan was down. And that puts uh, Newburyport up one to nothing with a huge shorthanded goal. That's huge. You know, that was just misplayed. In front of the net, he's. I don't know if he's got to cover that. No defense. That guy was wide open. He just. Had, he could have waited ten seconds and shot the puck. The guys that came in, and you're right, Johnny. Yeah, I think I could have put that one in. Yeah. I mean, he had a wide <laughs> open net there. So, Carter Gagan got kind of. He was trying to tie that puck up, and and got. Uh, he kind of got out of position, in, you know, and out outside his crease. So, left the wide open net there. So Canton. Not what Canton really wanted to see here, but 40 seconds left in the period, 35 seconds left on the power play for Canton, and they're going to move that puck around. Newburyport able to intercept that pass. They're going to dump it down deep, so Canton will have one more rush here. Time for one more rush as Grady Carr has it behind his own net. Carr's going to start it out with it. Good pass up to Drury. Drury gets tripped up at the blue line. It's going to go out to the... Center ice, Carr has it again, Carr has it, gains the line, tries to throw it down deep, but that's going to be shot down to Gagan. Gagan's going to leave it for Thompson, uh, Thomas, sorry, Tom, Thompson, Thomas, I get the two of them mixed up. So Canton with the puck as Thompson picks it up at his blue line, and that will do it as the Newburyport survived that two-man down uh, uh, power play for Canton, and uh they came out of it with a goal, John. Yeah, that's a terrible, well, not a terrible, a good break for Newburyport. Just, I don't know if they fell asleep, just come down. I don't know. That, that was bad. That so was a bad thing. <laughs> so you got to give, got to give credit to uh, to number uh, number six there, McIsaac. He was had the heads up. He came right out, out, of, out the of the box, box and went right for the net, and uh, and 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 they were able to uh, him and Colby uh, Arrow able to tie the Canton uh, defense up. And uh, McIsaac just picked up that loose puck it and loose, put it by it was, Gagan. He, he should have covered it up, but there was nobody covering him coming down. I'll tell you, it, you know, and that it, it's not, you know, it, it, Canton had such a good period. I thought they they outplayed Newburyport again, much, many more shots on net, and uh, you know, Newburyport came out with that uh, with that uh, shorthanded goal. So yeah. tough one to swallow, but uh, as always, I'm sure Coach Schulman will. Uh, We'll give the boys uh, some good direction there in the locker room between periods. So stay tuned, hockey fans. We'll be right back with third period action. Our next video is another story on overcoming adversity. A local elementary teacher found out she had cancer. In this story by myself and Wyatt, we discovered how she managed to keep hope. Dana Farber actually saved my life. So yeah, I owe them everything. You can't move forward if you stay still and you're stuck. So it's really important to me in any time where I'm struggling to just remember everything is temporary and you just have to move through it. What did you have? I had breast cancer. It was hormone positive, HER2 negative, um, with lymphatic invasion. And how did you normal? I was the head trainer at Burn Boot Camp Norway when your mom was a client there. So how did you take the news of her diagnosis? Honestly devastated, just heartbroken and devastated for her and what that meant. Uh, well, I was actually getting my car, um, I was getting an oil change on my car and I was waiting for it and she called me and um, I remember everything, what I was wearing, what I was thinking and I just was in complete shock. and. Um, I immediately just started trying to comfort her, and then from that day on, it was like constant check-ins, you know, dropping by to see if she was okay, bringing her like little treats, um, and then just like giving her lots of um, encouragement texts as well. Checking in with her, 
with her each and every time she was at camp. How are you feeling? How are things going? You know, mentally, physically, um, kind of gauging where she was and what she needed from the workout. Um, some of those workouts can, they're either strength based or they are cardio based. And so they can be pretty high intensity. It's a boot camp at the end of the day. Um, so kind of feeling, feeling her out how she felt and then modifying, taking the intensity down on anything that needed to be brought down, um, modifying, you know, any exercises that she didn't feel comfortable doing um, or that, that she wasn't able to do. So really just kind of gauging her and then just changing the exercises out and, and honestly just being there to encourage her and support her and, and give her you know that positive feedback that I was proud of her that she was just there showing up. Uh, with a lot of treatment, uh, chemotherapy, radiation, I have ongoing medications that I take, I get injections all to stop hormone production, um, so it's an ongoing process but I have a great medical team and they put a treatment plan together that fortunately seems to be working. Um, another thing that I, I really made sure to stay active, I was always active prior to my diagnosis, but after the diagnosis, I made a promise to myself to maintain that. Um, well, it's a great way to relieve stress, so that definitely helps. Um, it also encourages other healthy habits that I do as well, you know, such as promoting good sleep and um, eating healthy. So working out has definitely kept me uh, healthy and, and well-rounded. I've always, i always felt, you know, really drawn to her. I think she's just such a wonderful person and I'm just so inspired by her story. I still talk about her quite often to other people when we, we're going through hard things, right? How important your mindset is around nutrition, how important fitness and just believing in yourself and having the courage to do hard things and persevere and be resilient. Um, so yeah, she definitely still continues. I did a lot of walking when I wasn't feeling well and I continued to go to my gym a couple of times a week when I felt up for it. So what gym did you go to? Um, Burn Boot Camp in Norwood. The community at that time was just, it, it was unmatched and I was very involved there prior to the diagnosis and I made some great friendships that last to this day. Erin and I actually met at the John F. Kennedy School in Canton and we've been teaching together for quite a few years. You keep looking at your bracelet. Uh, do you mind explaining the significance? Oh, I was, I looked at it because it says keep moving and that, um, that's something that I learned at Burn. That's one of their, I don't know if it still is, but um, keep moving was always something that the trainers there would say. And when I got my diagnosis, I had this made, it's a mantra band, it says, keep moving on it so that I would remember that when I was really tired or depressed or overcome with just the weight of it all to remember just put one foot in front of the other and keep moving and so that's actually what that is. And so you're wearing a Jimmy Fun Walk shirt. Yes, I did my fifth Jimmy Fun Walk today. Um, I did the 13.2 um, mile uh, walk with Aaron and a couple other teachers and then I've done some of the shorter walks too as well uh, they even had one right here in Canton that I did um, this year I did the half marathon slightly shorter this year because the finish line was at Fenway Park but um, I did the course from Wellesley to Boston. this year I raised over close to two thousand dollars in the past I've raised my the, my first year I raised five thousand um, each year I, I try to raise at least fifteen hundred moving, get up, every day, get dressed, uh, even when, even if you don't go anywhere, and try to get some movement into your day because it just does amazing things to reset your brain and your mindset, even if it's just a walk down the block. Or if you're feeling well, maybe even so much as a full workout, but just make yourself get up. How has her story inspired you? Oh my gosh, in so many ways. She's just so incredible to have gone through that and she's so resilient and to continue to just fight and show up for herself. That concludes our show. Thanks for watching School, School Days. Days. It was shocking.
Daddy, thanks for the water, buddy. A client. <laughs> And we are back here at the Metropolis Rink. Pete DeSisto along with John Marconi. The Bulldogs against the Clippers of Newburyport. One to nothing. The Clippers on a shorthanded goal in that second period, John. So we think, uh, we hope Canton's going to come out as they get the puck into the Newburyport zone. Right away, they take a shot from the point, And that just goes over the net. Thomas has it. He gets it to center ice as Anderson has it now. He's going to backpedal, gets it up to Thomas. That's stopped there. Eisenman throws it down deep as Newburyport gets a wholesale change. And as uh, first unit for Canton out there, Torji. And puck on the sideboards now. Canton trying to, we're going to have a penalty again on Newburyport as a hold. Know if that was Torji or not, but it uh, doesn't matter. Newburyport going to be a man down again, John. Early in this third uh, third period. That might be what Canton needs here. If they can get a goal and they get this goalie moving, you know, to get, you know, then you got to get one in first. So face-off in the Newburyport zone. As on the face-off here, Middleton out there with Drury and Blake. So Drury, I mean, Middleton's going to win that one. Drury has the puck on the sideboards. It's going to go back to Carr. Carr has it. Oh, he takes a shot, but that's blocked in front. Brennan, Brennan, it's a foot race now between him and Schulman. Brennan gets it around, throws it out in front, and that's blocked in front of a good back check by Middleton. So back comes Drury. Drury tries to split the defense. That's going to go behind the goaltender Lamb. Middleton now gets it back to Schulman. Can't control as that goes out the center ice. Carr has it, gets it over to Schulman. As Canton trying to start out with it again, Carr. Carr gets over the red line. He's going to dump it down deep. McIsaac has it. McIsaac threw it all the way around. He scored that uh, shorthanded goal in that second period as he came out of the box, went right for the net, able to put that puck past Connor Gagan. So Canton trying to e get the equalizer here as uh, a minute left on the power play. As Canton moving the puck, trying to get it down deep. It blocked there. Schumann has it now. Can't get it in the zone. It seems like they're getting broken up right at the blue line. Newburyport doing a good job blocking up that uh, center ice there. Anderson gets it over the line. Anderson has it, takes a shot. Oh, and that just goes wide as he stepped in. Now Schumann has it, gets to the top of the circle. Out right in front. Oh, a big save. And a score on the rebound, the freshman Elric. Oh, the big shot out in the slot. I think that was Middleton who took the initial shot. And a big stop by Lamb, but Elric right on the doorstep. The freshman backhanded past Lamb, and Canton ties the game up. Uh, that was a good little sequence down there. They kept the puck in. Teddy Schumann come in, passed it off, and Elric didn't give up in front of the net. He just waited for that rebound backhander in. I mean, got the goalie moving like we've been talking about. So here. Lamb made the save, got the pad on it, but the puck went right out and onto Elric's stick. And Elric made no mistake, backhanded it right past Lamb for the uh, for the goal. So that ties this game up one to nothing early in this period. Good opportunity. Canton takes takes advantage of that power play opportunity, and they're able to tie this game up. So play continues in the Canton zone. Canton moving it out. They they do. They get it out down to Iserman. Has it. He's going to throw it up. To Davino, he throws it down deep. Gagan can't stop it, but that's going to go all the way around to Elric. He throws it up, and Canton able to split the defense. That was Torji, and back comes uh, Newburyport. But Canton intercepts. They get it down deep into the Newburyport zone. Childs has it. He throws on a big hit there. 
by Torji on Childs, but back comes Brennan. Brennan takes it behind the net. Good play there by Thomas. He throws it around. It's going to go back to the point to Childs. He's hit there, and it's a foot race now. Torji and Lamb comes out and throws it up. Thomas tries to spat it out of the air. Couldn't grab it. As good play there by Torji. Good hustle. As that's going to go in on Gagan, and Gagan's going to tie the puck up. Good play there by Gagan. He saw this line. They've been out there for a while, John, and yeah, uh, Tom, a little Thomas, winded there. Thomas couldn't get off the ice. You're right. You know, great little play. Goalie, a little hesitation there. You either got to go or don't go, and it worked out for him. But He was able to fire that puck up, but uh, Canton not able to get the, the loose puck there. But good opportunities there as Canton will start out with it out of their own zone. Gershney has it. He'll throw it up. That's going to go. Back down deep as Carr has it now. Grady Carr behind the net. Leaves it for Schumann. Teddy Schumann has it. That's going to be brought up by Howard. And Canton able to get it down deep. As Gershney behind the net. And Joe Ryan. Ryan will throw it back to the point to Schumann. Schumann gets it over to Carr. And that's tipped in front by Gershney. And just goes into the uh, into the netting above Lamb. But... Uh, Good play there. Good passing by that line for Canton. Able to move that puck around. So faceoff will be to the right of Lamb. And on the on the uh, faceoff will be Middleton, Middleton, Drury, and Blake. So Middleton on the faceoff against Joyce. And Drury gets the puck right off the faceoff. It just goes wide. And Canton able to get the loose puck. They dump it down deep. Drury on the forecheck again. As Canton again steals the puck. There's Blake. Blake comes out in front. He takes a shot. That's going to go wide. I think that so, went behind the goalie. So Canton with some opportunity here as Newburyport does get it out. So Thompson has it now. He's going to throw it up. Throw it up ice. Back comes Canton again. They're going to dump it down deep. Lamb bats it off. Leaves it for his defenseman. As Childs, he'll throw it up. DeVito has it. Now Newburyport able to get it out. Drury will throw it down deep. Drury on the forecheck now. As Forrest behind his own net. He's checked there by Drury. Drury comes out with it, though. He's going to get it back to the point. Thomas takes a shot. That's going to hit somebody in front and go wide. Again, back comes Child. Child throws it up. Uh, Thompson able to keep it in. Good play there. Good defensive play. Able to keep the puck in the zone. Thompson... Going for the net. It's intercepted, and that puck's going to go down into the Canton zone. Anderson has it as Newburyport going for a wholesale change. As Canton gets the loose puck, that was Blake, took the slap shot, and that just goes wide. They're able to get that puck out of the zone, finally. Now it's going to go behind the net. As that hits the ref, and in comes Torji. Torji takes a shot, and Lamb with the stop. Puck out in front again. This first unit for Canton out there. Now Thomas has it. He's intercepted as Newburyport finally able to get that puck out of their own zone. Canton will move it around now. Morris, he throws it up. Gets it in the center ice. Tries to hit Torji as Thomas can't connect. Puck goes back into the Canton zone. And Elric, Elric who scored that Canton goal. Has the puck now. He's going to take it around the other end. Other way. Back to the point. Eisenman throws it towards the net. That's wide. Puck continues. Play continues behind the Canton zone. And Canton trying to get that. Oh, and in comes. Oh, the big stop there. In comes Elric, the freshman. Elric with a good play to get behind the defense. Now Torgy has it. Torgy in his own zone. He's going to. Nice. Pass over. Oh, the score! <laughs> nice play. Colin O'Brien right off the bench again. Comes in over the blue line. And Torgy hits him with a picture-perfect pass. Tape to tape. And O'Brien made no mistake. He let that puck go. And right past Lamb in the top corner. You know, this line hasn't seen much action. O'Brien, he jumped right in the play. He was ready to go. But uh, Torgy... Incredible down here with the move and the puck, and and he found him open. Had his good, eyes open. Good play by Brendan Torgi, able to move that loose puck, pick up the loose puck on the sideboards, 
And he, out of the corner of his eye, I mean, we expect come to expect that from Torji. I mean, he just plays so well. And uh, he, he saw O'Brien come right in off the bench. He was streaking down, going right for the net. And a tape to tape pass. And O'Brien put the puck past Lamb. So puts Canton up 2-1 to one with eight minutes left in this third period. And back comes Canton again. As O'Brien gets checked off the puck, Joe Ryan will dump it down deep. Puck does get out of the zone. As O'Brien gets it back to Schumann. Carr has it. He's going to dump it down deep. This will not be icing. Newburyport going to try and start out with it. As Canton getting a change, and that'll be shot down deep again. Joyce on the forecheck, but that's going to be held by Canton. Back comes Canton now. <clears throat> that's Drury has the puck. Drury going right after it, hustling. Back comes uh, Newburyport. Luskin has it. Luskin will throw it up. Tries to hit his teammate in center ice. Can't connect. They'll start out with it again. Iserman. Throws it up. That's going to go up to DeVito. He throws it towards the net. And we are going to have a penalty. Interference. An interference call. I believe it's on Canton. One of the defensemen. I don't yeah, know which we'll one. See, we'll see who the who the call is against. But uh, not really what Canton <clears throat> wanted after going up 2-1. to one, But uh, so it looks like it looks like Drury. Anderson. No, Anderson. I'm sorry. Number 28, yeah, he, Anderson. Uh, that was kind of a. In front of the net, he was trying to go to the like, net, and he stood in his way. He might have got his hands up a little high, yeah. but I, I didn't think it was interference. You know, tough call by the referee. Maybe a, a you know, make, make, a make nah, up they call. Can't have I don't a make know, up call, but, but it, it was questionable. So new report on the power play, and they're going to have a timeout here as uh, there's seven minutes left in this game, and new report has a two minute power play. So the coach is going to call a timeout and get everybody together and. Uh, Try and design a play here, John. But I'll tell you, that play by Brendan Torgy on the sideboards, again, we come to expect it from him. That kid just been playing unbelievable, has, has had a great high school career. Oh, four and years. he saw O'Brien coming in, streaking down the, right through the slot area and hit him. And, and you missed pass. early. He had a shot point blank range, and they kept the puck in. <clears throat> he yeah. usually doesn't miss. No question. So, uh, I mean, it's a big power play for, for Newburyport here as uh, – you know, with this opportunity, they were able to, uh, you know, Canton just controlling the play in this third period. Yeah, I don't know what Coach Schumann said to him in the locker room, but whatever it was, it worked. So he's, uh, you know, yeah, you're right. It was probably the CEO came Matt. in and gave him, gave him, uh, gave him a hard time. Matt, yeah. Matty Marconi goes in, the CEO of the team goes in and says, "I've had enough. Let's go, let's put the puck in the net." Yeah, I know. So. he's not going to tell us what goes on in there, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> no question. So, so faceoff in the Canton zone. Brendan Torgi on the faceoff. He's against Tristan Joyce, and Torgi's going to win that one. Carr has it. And Torji comes out with it. Brendan Torji comes through center ice over the line. He's going to try and turn the defense. He goes in on Lamb. Oh, right through the crease. Brendan Torji taking valuable seconds off that clock. And Newburyport able to start out with it now. As uh, Childs, uh, I'm sorry, Luskin has it. Luskin being checked there by Tom Thomas. Keep it and out of the Newbury zone. Newburyport able to get it in, but they give it right to Thomas, and he turns and throws it right down. A minute 24 left on this power play. Luskin has it now. He's going to start out with it. He gets over the red line. He dumps it down deep. Grady Carr is going to go after it in his own zone. He's checked there by Waddle. Waddle comes out with it. He has it behind the net. They come right around. They give it back to the point. <laughs> Tries to hit Luskin, but just wait. Just way too far away from him. So Canton going for the whole chill change. And Newburyport trying to do the Hail Mary from the goaltender Lamb. But that was intercepted. That's going to go all the way down on Lamb again. So less than a minute left on the power play. Luskin has it now. He's going to, he loses as he's checked there by Middleton. They're able to get it in. DeVivo gets it down deep. Brennan now behind the net. Brennan trying to get it, but he stopped there. Now Brennan has it again. Arrow has it. Back to Brennan. He's going to circle around. He gets it over to Iserman. He takes a shot. Gagan makes the save. Pushes the puck to the corner. 
So Newburyport trying to set up in the Canton zone. That's going to go behind that. The eyes of me takes a shot, and there's going to be a whistle here. <coughs> net that move. Looks like the net got knocked off its moorings, and that will be a a, 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 a faceoff in the Canton zone. Good, uh, good, uh, good luck there for Canton uh, with uh, with Newburyport able to move that puck around the zone. And uh, I'm not sure if if uh, Connor Gagan might have. Might have given it a little shove there to the net to get it off off the uh, moorings, knock it off there. But uh, nonetheless, the referees called it, and that will just about do it in the power play. Eight seconds left as Newburyport trying to start out with the puck. As they get up ice, Errol has it. He gets over the line as that will do it. Uh, both teams at even strength. So Newburyport trying to move the puck now. As they'll move it up, as uh, Carr has it now. Over to Schumann, back to Carr. Carr gets it up to Torgy. Torgy's going to dump it down deep. That's stopped there by Iserman. Iserman gets it up to Errol. Errol, nice pass up to Brennan. Brennan has it. He's going to leave it for the defenseman, but the defense were changing up. So nobody there. That's going to go back to the Newburyport line. And Newburyport, again, Ooh. that's number 27. <laughs> Lashkin. Thought his winger uh -huh. was going to look. He tried to hit him as he came out of the zone, but he was too tired. He was going off the ice. He's a freshman, that 27, right, uh, Luskin? He he's is, played, yes. He's played a lot. Of, he's he's a big kid, and he had, he's had a lot of ice time for a freshman. So face off in the Newburyport zone. Joyce on the face off against Middleton. Middleton on the forecheck now. Drury coming over to help out. And that's going to be shot out. Thompson has it now. He leaves it for Middleton. Middleton moves it up, gets it into center ice, gets it over to Drury. Drury's going to dump it down deep. Blake behind the net as Luskin, uh, Luskin comes out with it again. But he's stopped by Drury. Drury has He takes a shot on a big stop by Lamb. Drury with the big heads up play. Took the shot, Lamb made the save, and that's going to go out of the zone. So Canton will dump it down deep again. 3.40 left in this third period. 2-1 to one the score. Blake behind the net now. Blakey trying to move it up. He does. Gets it to Thompson, who takes the shot from the point, and Lamb able to tie that puck up with no rebound. So 2-1 yeah. to one the score. 3.30 left in this third period. Canton in control at this point. Yeah, that was a nice shot, Drury. Toe kick out, Blake right there, but just the goalie kicked it aside, whether he meant it or not. Blake was right there on the doorstep for the rebound. So Ryan on the faceoff. Now Howard has it behind the net. He's checked there by two Newburyport players. Ryan takes it again. He's going to throw it down deep. And Newburyport Forrest will get it out of the zone, and this is going to be icing as he tried to hit one of his teammates, uh, oh no, no, they, they waved, waved, it. They waved, waved it, it off. off. Yeah. So play continues in the Canton zone as Canton able to break it out. Back comes Howard. He's going to dump it down deep. As, uh, as Gershany <laughs> on the forecheck, Torgy just came out off the bench. New report back. They take the shot. That's blocked in front. And back comes Canton again. Oh, good hit there it's at the uh, at the blue line as Gershney took a big hit. That's going to be dumped all the way down. We're going to watch for the goaltender, Lamb, see if Newburyport's going to pull him. Yeah, With we're two, at 229 left in this period. Can't not buy one goal. Thomas has it. He's going to get it out the center ice to Elric. Elric with one, of, with one of the goals. He goes in. Elric takes a shot out just in front, and Lamb makes the save. Elric bothered from behind, but got it out in front, and Thomas came in and took the shot. And Lamb with the big, big save there to keep Canton off the board. Yeah, then if that went in, that would have been tough for Newburyport. But, you know, one goal game, he's got no timeouts left. He's got to get the puck down the other end to pull the goalie now. Torgy on the faceoff. He won that one, but uh, Newburyport able to kick it out of the zone. Thomas has it. We're going to have a penalty. A uh, hooking call. It's gotta and be it looks on like Canton. it's going to be on Canton. It has to be. He's got the puck. It'll be Thomas. Travis Thomas going to go to the bench with 2.08 left. 
And so Newburyport on a two-minute power play here, last two minutes of the game, and they're down by a goal. So a huge opportunity here, John. And we're going to see – we saw Lamb looking at the coach – He's getting ready to go. I think you're going to see if, if Newburyport gets control, Lamb's going to head for the bench. So face off in the can zone. Do you do that, Pete? Two minutes? You wait a minute? I would. I, right I, away I, you, you pull What do you got to lose, John? You know, honestly, you're a power play. You got to you gotta get the uh, – you, you, know, you got to get control, though. That's the key. Got to yeah. get control. Yeah. So broken stick there. And Newburyport able to get, get on the uh, – get, get the uh, new player on the ice. So good play there on the boards. Canton tying them up as that's going to go rink wide. That's going to go over to Palermo. Palermo has it. He's checked there by Blake as Canton doing a good job. Keeping it outside the Keeping zone. Keeping it on the, the outside. Corners. You're right. Anderson behind the net. He's going to try and take some seconds off. And there goes Lamb. Yep, there's the so, Well, not possession, but. So Newburyport with a two-man advantage here. As that is going to get out of the zone, so Newburyport will have to start out all over again. Devio has it. That's going to go into the Canton zone, into the middle of the ice. Two-man advantage. Oh, and a big save there by Connor Gang, and what a stop with the blocker. That's going to go back to Luskin. Now he takes the shot. They score! Oh, Newburyport able to keep that puck in the zone. Luskin able to keep that puck in, shot it into the slot area. And I believe that is, that's number two, Devio. We've been calling his name an awful lot. All night, night I've John, heard his uh, name all he night. He was in the right place. Nice stop by Connor Gagan. Just couldn't control the rebound. And Devio able to put that pass. So Newburyport able to take advantage of the power play with 107 left. They tie this game up two to two. Let's see what Canton can do in the last minute of this game. As Canton comes over the line, and this will be called for an offside as Torji just a step over. So this puck, this uh, faceoff is going to go back just outside the Canton line. So f exactly one minute left in this period in the game. Torji on the faceoff, first unit for Canton out there. Torji, Elric, and Thomas. And Thomas tries to take it in. He gets stopped. Newburyport's going to dump it all the way down. Schumann has it behind his own net. Schumann's tripped up, but no call there. That's a tough one. So behind the net, Newburyport able to throw it right out in front of Gagan. Defense able to get it out of there. Torji has it now. And we're going to have a stoppage in play. It looked like the net came off the moorings again. <laughs> so 37 seconds left in this game. 2-2 two to two the score. Canton with its first unit out there. Torji, Elric, and Thomas out there. They're going to try and get this puck right up and try and get some offense in these last 38 seconds. But I don't know what other oh, faceoffs inside. So Torji on the faceoff. He's against Arrow, Colby Arrow for, uh, for Newburyport. So waiting for the referee to square everybody up. And the drop of the puck in these last 38 seconds. Newburyport's going to win that one. That goes right in on Gagan. He steers it to the corner. Good play there by Connor Gagan. Puck behind the net. Schumann. Now Torji has it. Torji's going to start out with it. Brendan Torji gets into center ice. Gets over the line. He gets into the slot area. He takes a shot. That's blocked in front. And back comes Newburyport. Palermo has it. He tries to go around Schumann. Takes the shot. That goes wide. So behind the net again, Palermo has it. He's going to throw right out front. Oh, and a big save by Gagan. What a stop by Gagan on that one. I think it hit the post, but still he got a piece of it. So puck play continues. Ooh. And that will do it. As big hit in the corner there. But that will do it in this game. As what a stop by Connor Gagan at the very last second. As Newburyport. Put a little bit of pressure on the Canton defense. Able to gain that loose puck and took the shot. And you're right, John. I'm not sure if it hit. Uh, I'm going to say it's a good save right it, now. Well, he's hard to see from this angle. But yeah. I'll tell you. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure uh, we'll get it on a replay. But uh, I'll tell you. What a play there by Connor Gagan. Able to, I thought he got his stick hand on and able to direct it to yeah. the corner. But uh, both teams 
uh, playing their hearts out in this last minute. Give credit to Newburyport not giving up at all. We're going to have a five-minute. John, correct me if I'm wrong. It's a five-minute sudden death. Correct. In overtime. Well, we got time. We got match and penalty, so I don't know what goes on with that. They put two guys in the box. I don't know if you saw that. So there was a big hit there at the end. We saw uh, we we saw both players. I'm not sure. I didn't get the numbers, unfortunately, before they went in the uh, in the box. But I'm assuming it's going to be a five on five. I it'll be a four on four. And we got that. We got that directly from an MIA. No, official. no, the referee guy. He's the referee, the referee official. Guy. Whatever. He knows. He knows more than us, John. <laughs> but so five five minute sudden death. It'll be a four on four. This is. Uh, they started this last year, I think. Oh, okay. We so got four it. on four, five minutes. So the penalties and, uh, are matching. It doesn't matter. They come out. Well, they'll come out and yeah. still be four on four. And it's still be four on four. So it's sudden okay. death here, and. Uh, this is, uh, I, you know, I love this, the fact that they do this. I really do. I love this five-minute overtime. You know, give the team, uh, give, give them both a chance to uh, Get a, see well. who, can, who can come out victorious. So face-off, one by Canton, and that's going to go into the Canton zone. New report has to, has to clear the zone as they were offside. Back comes Canton now. Middleton has it, but he's intercepted there by McIsaac. He goes in. McIsaac behind the net now. McIsaac has it. He gets it back to Iserman. Iserman over to Luskin. He takes a shot. That's blocked by Teddy Schulman. Good play there by Schulman. Puck on the other side now. Middleton picks it up. Oh, and he's got he, – oh, he had Blakey right in the middle of the ice going for that Hail Mary. Almost hit Blake in the middle. Just couldn't connect. Schulman has it again. It's going to go over to back over to Schulman. Middleton has it now. Middleton loses it. So Newburyport going to try and start out with it. They're going to dump it into the zone. This is going to be icing on Newburyport as they were on this side of the red line. So tough play there by Newburyport. Not, uh, not, able, to, not able to get over that red line. So faceoff will be down deep in the Canton zone. As Coach Schulman puts, uh, puts Thomas and, and, uh, and Torgy out there. Yeah, and they're they out skate. there. Uh, Newburyport able to win that faceoff. Oh, right out in front. A oh, big stop there as Thomas tipped it and Lamb made the save. That's going to go over to Morris into Torji. He can't control it. That's going to go around the net. Newburyport trying to move it out. Referee gets in the way. Newburyport able to get the loose puck. It's going to go back to Forrest now. He's going to start out with it. Over to Childs. Childs has it. He's going to go up to McIsaac. And Canton on a good forecheck here. Thomas on a good forecheck as Errol has it. He's going to dump it down. Connor oh, Gagan got icing. It. He's going to do it again. And that'll be icing again. Big, big mistake there by, uh, by Newburyport. As, uh, you know, not you got to gain that line, John. you got to get over the red line and get it down oh, deep. Especially late in the game here. So on the faceoff now, we have Joe Ryan, the sophomore, and Elric, the freshman. A lot of confidence oh. Coach Schulman is showing here. I'll tell you, on the uh, on the point you have Teddy Schulman and uh, and Carr, I believe. So behind the net, Luskin he has the he won that faceoff. Luskin's going to start out with it. He gets it over to Eisenman. Eisenman almost broken up there by Elric. Good play there by the freshman, and he takes it away. Uh, Elric tried to hit Ryan, couldn't connect. Now back comes Newburyport. They finally get it down deep into the Canton zone. They finally got it over the red line first. And then so jumped 302 it. left in this overtime, sudden death overtime period. As Canton's going to start out with it. Elric gets it up, gets it to Ryan. Ryan going to take on the defense, gets Lufkin. He tries to turn Lufkin, up, but Ryan knocked off the puck as Luskin has the puck now. Now picked up by number nine, Brennan. Brennan will start out with it. Senior captain. He's going to get out of the zone as Ryan gives chase. He gets in into Canton zone. He tries to turn the defense. Grady Carr with a great defensive play. Good play there to break it up. And back comes Canton again. Back comes Elric as he's broken up. Oh, and he goes, he, oh, they're going to get. I'm sorry, Joey that's Ryan. Not Elric. That's Joe Ryan. They're going to get him for a tripping call as is a delayed call here as Newburyport with the puck. And they got the extra skater on now. They go rink wide as they're going to start out with it. 
This is uh, Joyce has it. He gets over the line to Luskin. He takes a shot. Oh, and a big save there by Carter Gagan. Gagan way out of his crease. Made the save and tied up with no rebound as Canton, uh, I'm sorry, Newburyport had the extra skater out there with a delayed call. So penalty on Canton. That's going to go on Joe Ryan for tripping. It's kind of he a tough call. The box. So it's going to be a four on three. Yeah, because it's four on four, and then they lose right. a guy. Well, well they put is... five out there, so I'm trying yeah. to count here. <laughs> Remember, I didn't have Bill Sweeney for math. That's so. right. Yeah. This they... is the first overtime game we've seen. It, well, this year, yeah. We had one last year. Oh, did we? Absolutely. So, uh, Newburyport wins that faceoff. They're a man up on this power play here. That's going to go back behind the net to Anderson. Anderson has it. He's going to try and move it up. He does. He gets it to Thomas. Thomas is going to get it over to Torgy. Torgy's going to go in. He makes a nice move. Gets it back to the point. Oh, and a big save by Lamb. Ooh. As Anderson made the uh, took the shot, that's going to be intercepted by Thomas. Lamb pushes it to the corner. Torgy now with the puck. He's checked. Now Thomas goes in alone, goes on to the Lamb. He scores! Thomas, Travis, Thomas! With Shorty. A, with a shorthanded goal! What a play by Thomas. Goes right by the defenseman all alone on Lamb. Pulled him out of the crease and got right between his stuff, <laughs> right between the pads and put it in. Travis Thomas, great play there by the junior. Well, I'll yeah, tell you, John, can't exciting. get any better than that. Yeah, two shorties, a couple of five on threes, overtime penalties, and you know, when Travis Thomas come by the net, he got tripped by the goalie or played. It kind of helped him out because the puck came right to him after. No question. So Travis Thomas, <coughs> one-man band on that one. Him and Brendan Torgy, though. Torgy initiated that play, got it down into the, uh, it got it down into the uh, Newburyport zone. And you're right, Thomas, just all hustle there. Picked it up out of the corner, came across. I'll tell you, the move he made around that defense, oh. put it right between his legs, went right out in front all by himself and uh, just pulled the goalie lamb out of the net, got him moving a little bit, saw the five hole, and went right into the net. Usually the big goalies, when you get them moving, the five holes open. But, it was, I mean, that was a great, great hockey game. This is what we're getting now for the next five or six games coming up because they got – Archies, then they uh, senior night's a little different, but then they're in that Ed Burns tournament, and they're going to be in the top bracket, all D1 teams. So, so that was I, I'll tell you, John, we, we knew this was going to be a good game, and it was a great, it actually was a great game up yeah. and down. You know, both teams had their opportunities. Uh, Newburyport, you know, tying it up late with, with only seconds left in the third period, and then uh, a, 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 an overtime period, which we love to see. Yeah, uh, I love the I love the uh, the format in in the regular season that they have these five uh, uh, the five minute overtimes, and it's four on four, opens up the ice, and you saw it right there. And there was a penalty. Canton had the penalty too. Yeah, and, they were shorthanded. And, I mean, so the ice is even uh, opened yeah. up even more. Yeah. and, and uh, you saw Thomas just made a great play. And both out of the those point. guys can skate, Thomas and Torch, with or without the puck. That's yeah. more. Nobody reports a great team. I don't know if they have the fluidity of that one skater that the Torch and and Thomas are, and even Elrica with the yep. puck. And no question. And and Connor Gagan made some great stops yeah. in this uh, in this overtime period. He yeah. really did. He made a couple of really good stops and uh, to keep Canton uh, or Newburyport off the board. And uh, and and then of course you got uh, you know two guys you want on the ice, John Thomas yeah. and Torgy, right? Yeah. And you want them on the ice. And Coach Schumann got the matchup he wanted. And uh, no question, uh, they made no mistake. And. They the won, pair, yeah, uh, was, able to win this game. It was a good comeback win. Sort of comeback. Yeah, they were down twice. They were. They were. So a great game here at the Metropolis Rankin a matinee, Martin Luther King Day uh, game. Uh, you know, nothing better. Newburyport came all the way down uh, from the North Shore, and unfortunately they're going to go back to with the a 3-2 to two <laughs> loss. And uh, Canton again comes out victorious yep. against Newburyport. So uh, congratulations to them. So, John, I want to thank, uh, as always, we want to thank our cable staff. They've done a great job here today bringing you this game in the afternoon they, you know, uh, with Tanya and Tim and Andrea and Mark. I mean, they do a great job. And as the legend, Joe Donnelly, always, always said, say. greatest cable staff in the world, bar none. bar none. They do a great job bringing you these games, and we thank them for that. So this is Pete DeSisto 
along with John Marconi with the final score for the final time. Canton three, uh, Newburyport two. Canton wins in overtime. We'll see you again soon. Wednesday. <laughs>